Yo, today on Passport Kings, I'm going over the top five things to do in Brazil other than chasing women. Engage. I'm Rockland. I travel the globe for leisure, exploration, and education about different cultures. Join me, and you too can be royalty. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard, abroad. Yo, this episode of Passport Kings is brought to you by the latest craze that's helping people book international flights with travel hacking. Unless you've been under a rock, you've certainly heard about the ebook that has people getting flights that would normally cost a thousand bucks at like twenty to forty dollars. But I bet you never heard the name of it, and you won't hear it from me either. Just follow the link below to learn more about this information slash website slash system that is saving people hundreds of thousands on international flights. Yo, Brazil is internationally known for beautiful half-naked women and a beer shack every 50 yards on the beach. But half-naked women aside and beer aside, there's a lot of amazing things to do in Brazil. Brazil has Amazon jungles, stunning beaches, lively cities, and an opulent, exciting culture. Anyone who travels abroad will agree that Brazil is one of the top destinations in the world. There is so much to do in Brazil besides looking for and at the female population that it can be overwhelming. Plus, Brazil is huge, and there are plenty of places in that country that are very hard to access like the beautiful Amazon. And yes, Portuguese can be an intimidating language for a person to master, and talking in English in Brazil is probably of no use. So you're really going to have to learn the sensual language if you really want to explore the country inside and out. So my advice is learn the language as fast as possible and as easy as possible using one of the study programs that I outlined below. Alright, so before you say travel tours are for old fossils with only a few years of life left to them, travel tours have come a long way since the days of giant air conditioned buses and old ladies. Today, there are tours designed specifically for the independent adventure traveler. That's right, active, interesting, and adventure tours that allow travelers to explore and experience a foreign place. First off, they keep the group small usually capping out at 16 people, so you won't be traveling around with some awkwardly huge bunch of gawking tourists. Second, these tours don't just scratch the surface of the places you visit. Also, because these tours have already been developed to showcase the best of the best that this place has to offer, you'll save yourself from countless hours of potentially pointless research trying to find out where to go, what to do, and what to eat. In fact, you may be spoiled after having a guide that arranges your travels and can help you spot the most amazing wildlife and take you to the best spots to eat and communicate with the locals in Portuguese. You probably will never want to go on a trip by yourself again. The Brazil tours also allow you to penetrate into the Amazon and will take you through the jungle on boats and specifically designed overland vehicles. So pack your swimsuit, get ready for the adventures of a lifetime, and who knows, maybe you'll find a whole lot of reasons to go to Brazil other than chasing the chicks. Here's the number five thing to do other than chasing women in Brazil. Spot one, the Amazon and the heart of Brazil. Journey through the heart of Brazil from the beachside beauty of Rio de Janeiro to the jungle clad depths of Manaus. Get acquainted with the local variety of local fauna and flora, spectacular landscapes and fascinating cities as you explore the wetlands of the Pantanal, the dense Chapada dos Viadieros National Park, the country's futuristic capital, and end the adventure in the mighty Amazon jungle. Travel on board the specially designed overland vehicles through the heart of South America on this journey through beautiful Brazil. Here's the number four thing to do other than chasing chicks in Brazil. Bountiful Brazil. Discover the heart and soul of Brazil on a journey through its beautiful interior. From the dramatic setting of Rio to the thundering waters of Iguazu Falls and onto the startling array of wildlife in the Pantanal wetlands. Experience the natural wonders and vibrant energy that this welcoming country is known for. And here's number three out of things to do other than chasing women in Brazil. Brazil Beach Experience. Brazil is a front runner in the competition for the world's best beaches. Decide for yourself. Spend three nights on one of the Rio area's best Aguados Reyes. Famous for its spectacular beaches, crystalline water, and exactly 365 islands. This area is ideal for swimming, diving, hiking, to waterfalls, or cruising around the island and bay. The only hard part is leaving this place. Number two, Brazil Amazon Cruise. 
course the largest river island system in the Anavilhanas archipelago and explore the heart of the Amazon by boat. This nine day tour will have you crossing this wild and mystique river, visiting monkey jungle preserves, going on tour jungle hikes, because no one wants to go on an Amazon hike without somebody that knows what they're doing, and visiting a local village. You'll have the experience of a lifetime on this unique trip. And here's the number one thing you can do in Brazil other than chasing women. Learn how to surf. In every single top 10 list, learning how to surf in Brazil has to be one of the top spots of the most exciting things to do. Surfing is not just a sport, but a way of life in Brazil. Hang 10 and Catch a Wave on their compact four-day programs designed to teach tourists the basic ways of surfing and its unique counterculture. The beach that you want to surf at is Priara de Rosa, recently named one of the best beaches in Brazil. Close to the trendy city of Florianopolis, yeah, this is the place to see and be seen. So yo, don't treat Brazil like it's some place that you go to meet women. You can meet women anywhere. Take in everything of Brazil that it has to offer. Learn the ins and outs, learn the language, learn the culture, then maybe you can learn the chicks. All right, that's my show for today. Remember to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you want to learn how to make money in the travel industry, go to www.passportkings.com. So yo, don't go to a different country all the way south of the equator just so you can go try the same things and do the same things over and over again. You might as well stay around your old block. When you're in a different country, you are an ambassador. Be an ambassador like a king of passports. Peace.